So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. So on my last video, I showed you the unboxing of the Me Cool KM2 Plus Deluxe. So today we're going to go ahead and set it up. So stay tuned, it's time for streaming. So hi everybody and thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. So today I'm going to show you how you can set up your all new brand new me cool km2 plus deluxe We're going to go through it step by step This way it makes it nice and easy and don't miss anything So here we go. Let's set it up So as you can see it's telling me to hit the back button and the home button at the same time I'm going to do that now and let's go and set it up right now It's pairing itself and we got the good check mark, which is always good to have now it asks us for the language that you want. I'm going to go ahead and click on English. Now here's something that's really good. If you have an Android phone, you can go ahead and say continue on this, but I don't have one. So right now I cannot. So I'm going to go down here and click on skip. Next it's going to look for your Wi-Fi. So select your Wi-Fi. Then it's going to ask for your password. Go ahead and put it in. I'm going to do that now and we'll be right back. Once you connect to your Wi-Fi, it comes up, says you are now connected. And now we got an update. It's part one of part two of our update. Let's go ahead and give this update a chance to install itself and we'll continue. Once the update has finished installing, it comes up at the next screen and says, please wait. Now here we are, it says make the most of your TV. So go ahead and want you to sign in. So let's do that now. We'll go ahead and sign in and move on to the next step. So now you got to go ahead and sign in with your Google account. I'm going to do that right now. After you type in your email and your password, then it's going to ask you to go on to YouTube. Make sure you let you verify it. Once you click yes, it's me on your phone, then it changes the page. It comes up to terms of service. Let's go ahead and click on accept. Now here I go ahead and I turn the, these two off. I don't keep them on. Down here again, let's turn this one off Then go back up and click on accept Get better voice control of your TV Go ahead and click on it Then say search across all your TV apps I say allow Let it bring it all in Get personal results This part I don't do I don't need no emails and all that I say no Get most of your Google Assistant Go ahead and say yes your 4K Android TV box is powered by Android TV. Keep going over to the right. You can read all this. Keep going to the right. You're going over to the right some more. Cast to your TV, which is always great. That way you can do it from your phone onto your TV. But a certain app that you have on your phone, but you cannot put it onto your Android device. Let's go ahead and click on next. Control volume and power with 4K Android TV's box remote. Let's go ahead and set up the remote now. Let's click on TV. What brand TV do you have? I have to scroll down and I have to find Toshiba. Once I find my brand TV, I go ahead and click on that enter button. Next, you'll hear music. Click on next. 0.4K Android TV box remote to TV. Do the volume buttons work? Let's go ahead and see it go up and down. Yes, they do. They work fine. Let's go ahead. Click on yes. Next, you'll set up the power button. Let's go ahead and click on next. If you want to do is press the power button one time. Wait eight seconds and it's going to turn it off and bring it right back on. I press the power button again. It comes right back on. So you see it does work. Let's go click on yes. Okay, Android TV box remote is set up. Click next. So far, nice and easy. Nothing really hard. Just a basic setup. So here we come to the main screen of our Mi Cool device. What we want to do is go up to the top right now, go all the way up, go over to the right. Let's go click on settings. Once you're in settings, go ahead and scroll down to where it says device preferences. Go ahead, click on it, click on about. Now let's go straight down and let's find where to build this. Once we come down to the, almost the bottom where it says build, click on it several times. Let's go ahead and put ourselves into a developer option. 
once you have done that click that back button on your remote let's go on down to the developer options click on it scroll all the way down to where you get to window scale click on it come down here animation i like to set it at the five come down to the next one same thing click on it go down to five and one more for the animation click on it go down to 0.5 and then click your back button pretty much there it makes it much more snappier and faster click that home button on your remote and let's see here we go we scroll down and it works really fast not too much on here right now but still it's fast it works really good this device no complaints here at all again i want to thank me cool for sending me to this device to go ahead and show my describers such a great device to have let's go ahead over to youtube let's click on youtube let's open it up for the very first time comes right in not bad at all i'm just going to go ahead and use my account came right in perfect can't complain at all really nice so right now in the search i just typed in 4k this one came up here with some wildlife let's go ahead and click on it i gotta get a commercial you can go ahead and skip it in like two seconds or so click the okay button to skip it and here it comes in click dismiss and it plays really great no buffering no nothing looks really good i mean this device here is really great you need to get one of these i'm going to leave the description down below so please go ahead and check on it also check out the unboxing so that way you do see what you're getting i'll leave that also in my video so the me cool km2 plus deluxe four gigabytes of ram 32 gigabyte storage no problems here excellent device well worth the money please go out and buy yourself one of these you don't want to get yourself one of those other high-end ones where you're paying a lot more than you would pay for this device then go ahead and do it let's go ahead and click on that home button on our remote so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video please remember to click on that like subscribe button ring that bell that way you know when i put up some more videos for you leave in the comments also let me know if you have a me cool device or what do you think do you like it a lot or you don't like it me i give it two thumbs up and remember Day or night, it's time for streaming.